Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Shah from Team Live to Lift, one of the coaches, and we are starting a little series for first timers, just explaining how you can get started with powerlifting and entering your first competition. First question that we always get asked, how strong do you have to be to be able to compete in powerlifting? So there is no set standard to compete in powerlifting. All you need to be able to do is squat competently, bench competently and deadlift competently. So that doesn't mean squat really heavy, bench really heavy, deadlift really heavy. It just means that you need to be able to do it with nice technique to the federation's um, standards. So when you enter a competition, you need to just make sure that you know, you're aware of all of the rules and the commands, um, just to make sure that your lifts will be valid because there's no worse thing than going to a competition and doing this amazing squat and then missing it because you you didn't listen for the rack command and things like that. We'll touch on that in a future video though, so don't panic. It's important to remember that a lot of the time it is relative to your body weight. So you might go to a competition, you see this person lifting way heavier than you can lift, but they might also weigh a lot more than you. So that's really important to remember that strength is all just individual to you. Enter your first competition, see how you do, and then that gives you something to work on for future competitions. And then you can just raise the bar each time that you go. The next question we get asked is how long would you need to train before you can head into a competition? So obviously this is going to vary from person to person. You might be a complete beginner to like the three main lifts, um, or you might have had a lot of lifting experience in the past and be quite competent with the three main lifts. If you were um, a more experienced lifter, you would probably want to find out where your maxes are or your uh, top doubles are and get kind of an idea of how you would do. You could maybe check out the qualifying totals for the federation you choose, see where you're gonna kind of uh, fit in there and then you could probably head straight into an eight week prep if you are more experienced. If you are not and you haven't really had much experience doing the three main lifts, you might want to take up to sort of six months, we would say, um, just building, gaining some confidence in the three main lifts, and then you would head into an eight week prep. How would you choose your first competition? Um, and this is where having, or oh, help, this is how I feel, having a coach would be really important because they can actually see where you are kind of at and point you at the, in the right direction for what federation you would suit. So for a lot of our um, athletes, they go through the ABPU, which you would have seen on a lot of our videos on our YouTube. Um, so there's a postman coming to my door. Um, like I was saying, like I was saying, like you're gonna put that bit in. Um, so on a lot of our vlogs, you would have seen that our athletes have taken the ABPU route. And how this works is that they will enter a regional qualifier. Then they will have a look at their total, see where they can then reach. So with their total, you, there is different tiers that they can reach with their total from their qualifier. And um, the first one is the powerlifting games. Um, the second one would be the British Championships. Um, and the third one is the European Championships. So we have been to the British Championships and the European Championships this year. And in a few weeks time, we are heading to the powerlifting games, um, which is super, super exciting. And then from there at the British Championships, if you place top three, then you qualify yourself for the World Championships, which you would have seen in our last vlog, where we went to America and it was really, really good experience and really, really fun. That is the route that we have taken with a lot of our athletes, but there are different federations that will have different qualifying totals and things like that. We've been, we've also been to ABS and we've been to the Irish Pro. They needed like dot scores to qualify. We've also been to British powerlifting competitions, which will have a slightly higher uh, qualification total. It's good to familiarize yourself with all of these different federations, see what your kind of aim is, and then you can make your decision from there. What can you expect from your first season in powerlifting? So. The first season should just be about gaining experience, learning what sort of lift you are on the platform because it is such a different environment at competition to what it is in the gym. And there's lots of different variables on the day. Something might not go your way, but that's okay because you're just learning and 
you can go again if you enjoyed it you can go again and then you have things to work on and improve on for the next time that you go and you've just got a little bit more um, knowledge about what is happening on the day in your first season you will probably want to compete in everything that you've qualified for which is fine it's all exciting just getting some platform experience behind you is going to be really really helpful moving into the years that you're more experienced so once you've done your first season you've competed around you will find out your weaknesses your strengths things that you need to work on and then you can set yourself some goals heading into the next season so that might be hitting that qualifying total for the British Championship. It might be building on your total. It might be placing higher than you did previously. It might be going out and trying different feds. Whatever your goal is, that can be then done after that first season once you've got that experience behind you. Every competition you go to will be different. It could be the weigh-in times. It might be that you don't even know what time that you are supposed to be warming up for squats until literally the night before it might be that you've got different ref so there could be so many different things that are different from comp to comp so just getting that experience behind you is going to be so so valuable uh, heading into your following season when you head into your first season you can't expect to just walk in and win everything no one became a world champion in their first season obviously things do vary from competition to competition so you might not be able to hit PBs every single time you compete, and that's fine. It doesn't mean that you are a rubbish lifter. Um, it's just completely dependent on how you were on the day. It's a really individual sport. So just working on yourself and getting better each time is a really good goal for you in your first season. What can you get out of powerlifting? So powerlifting is a growing sport. It has grown massively over the past year which is really super exciting and from a personal perspective I've really enjoyed seeing so many females get involved recently. Powerlifting is a performance sport and getting under a heavy bar is scary um, but once you've done that lift it is like a feeling like no other. It's an amazing experience uh, to be pushing the weights, pushing past anything that you ever thought that you could ever do and you're developing a lot of skills that transfer over into all different aspects of life which is really helpful. You're never going to be good at all three lifts and this teaches you resilience and coming back each week having that focus of just building and improving yourself week on week is going to teach you so much discipline and when you eventually compete and then get the numbers that you have been working so hard for it is a really fulfilling experience. From our previous vlogs you would have seen that we have a very supportive team which is growing and growing. It is just really good just to know that you've got someone in your corner all the time. We have uh, athletes come and watch each other at their competitions, meet up outside of training and things like that. And just building bonds with each other is really, really nice. That is the end of our video. If after hearing all of those answers to those questions, it has inspired you to give powerlifting a go for the first time, Team Lift to Lift are actually taking on new athletes for the new season. So if you are interested, then there is the inquiry link below. Um, fill that in um, and we can get you started. If you have any other questions that you need answering, pop them down below in the comment section and we will be doing another video like this answering all of those questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, it really does help us grow our channel. Um, so yeah, we appreciate it. Much love. Bye. Oh, <laughs>